Welcome back to Outdoor Exploration. I'm Emily and today I thought it would be fun to just see what the world is offering us in this kind of mid to late October season. Um, and right here we have some wonderful mushrooms growing in uh, three different stages of their life. Um, a moment ago there was a rather large red-legged frog sitting on this one. Uh, sadly he left before I came to introduce him but um, anyway I wanted to show you this. This is um, a few older uh, specimens if you want to call them or individuals of this little community of mushrooms and you can see they're turning brown and they've all kind of reached their edges up and they're getting a little frilly. It, it's like they've grown so much there's not enough space for them to be there and but they still have this the stem with the ridge around the middle and underneath you can see they have these long uh, brown squishy gills and if I stick my fingers on them they actually turn all brown. So these are probably already releasing all their spores from those gills. And over here is one of the same type that hasn't come so far along and if I touch the gills they're very perfect and soft um, without uh, without any brown liquid coming out of them. And then lastly under some forest detritus here is a very tiny one coming up which I guess soon will be as big as its little neighbors. I don't want to bother it but there it is. So I thought that was exciting um, and Hopefully we'll see some more interesting things, whether mushrooms or other, I don't know. Let's go find out. Look what I found here. This, oh, there's so much about it. It's so cool. Um, it's a maple stump, obviously, and it's so rotten out. There's almost nothing left except mostly this little bit of the outside skin here. It's completely hollow. You can, I hope you can see. Hello, there's my hand. I can if I didn't care about the insects getting in my hair I'd put my whole head through. <laughs> but uh, interestingly it still has leaves you can see up there. And then you wonder why because the tree has to get all its nutrients up through the bark right? So interestingly if I come around here so on this side is the bark. One little strip of it, I'm stuck in the ferns, um, one little strip of it that seems to go up and feed all these still living branches. They don't look very living but well this one has no leaves but this one has some and the ones at the top have quite a few. And then there's something even more exciting on this side. First those holes that I found and then on top of them the nest. It's empty of course because it's late October and who really wants to build their nest and have eggs in late October but it's this gorgeous little nest. You can see how carefully it was lined with the mud and then the parents put all this moss around the outsides. What a lot of work they put into loving those babies. Hopefully they survived. We have no idea. Oh, and I'm not even finished yet. Look at this tiny little brilliant. Oh, not much of it left, but I'm going to pick it. It's hardly even attached. Tiny mushroom. I have no idea what this type is called anymore, but so beautiful. Some little tiny ribs there, divided ribs and this color. Maybe someone will tell me in the comments of this video what this is called. Were it whole and living? Let's leave it there. How wonderful. Oh, that hole. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to do it. <laughs> this is lovely. There's a, a whole ring of this whatever this little whitish brown mushroom is going I think at least halfway around this stump. 
huh, whatever they are, how lovely. Um, but I thought I would tell you that this is our experiment. These are some, some pieces of chicken of the woods and wood bugs that my son put out here from some other chicken of the woods, which we ate most of. And we're hoping it will grow here. So we'll just see what happens with that. Who knows? It's always worth trying. If they're too old and going to spore already and you're not going to eat them, why not try and grow some more? <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> you think they could be the cedar seeds? I found all these little seeds here and I mean some of them are super obvious. This is maple seeds obviously and some adorably tiny little maple seeds. But these things, they kind of look like oats. Not if you look up close. They're very very thin and whoops, flaky. It's like almost like it has little wings on the sides. And my clue is that these are lying around here. It's really obviously a little piece of cedar twig there, cedar leaves, and the little cone on it, which cedar have these also adorably tiny little cones. And I don't know for sure, but I think that's what the seeds from inside the cone looks like. So I'm going to take this apart and see if I find any. Oh, I found an incredibly tiny, I think it's a snail. And, ah, yes a seed to show you. Okay, there is one of the cedar seeds inside the cone. Like a little oat. Really not though, oats are so starchy. And these really aren't, but a whole log covered in cedar seeds and other bits and pieces. Nice. All those cedar trees. Ooh, that's beautiful. Cool little mushroom on the side of this log too. I have no clue what it is either. The bottom of it seems to be kind of stiff and fleshy, um, but I think it's pretty old. So whatever it was, mostly has become unidentifiable, at least to me. Look what I found. Um, I don't really know what to say about this, but it's alder and my guess is that these buds are all set for next spring because you know these would be the catkins and I think these are some leaf buds. Uh, there's not much left of it. A little bit of a new leaf here and some partially eaten leaves here and one that I just pulled off by accident. And either it's set buds way too early or this is when they set their catkins and I didn't know. I think with climate change and the way things are changing recently. It's more likely that it was early. Over here, I think these are like, they will be little bunches of leaves, but right now it's just a little thick cluster of points. More of these gorgeous little red mushrooms, which I've forgotten the name of still, but look at this alder, seriously. The awesome roots and then or should I say this pair of alders? One of them's going that way. This one is, well, actually basically laying kind of half in the crook of this other alder over there. That'll be a mess when it comes down one day, which looks rather imminent actually. Excuse me while I just come through the stink current here. No berries left. They've been taken months ago by the birds. See you in a second. <laughs> oh wow, look how beautiful. Oh wow. Oh, this is gorgeous. It's almost like ice crystals, but it's not, it's a mushroom. Oh my God, how beautiful. The whole, well, you'll have to come look up close. It has, this whole side is, has, I guess the new mycelium and, uh, <laughs> um, oh, I don't even know what to say. Just look at it. I will back off so you can have a good look. Oh, 
Oh, look at this fern. Weird. It's all curly. The others around here aren't like this. Oh, I wonder if it's a disease or... I mean, you'd think it would be about the condition of the soil or something, but everything else here is... Well, actually, they're mostly normal, except this has a little bit of curl on the edges. Seriously, this looks like an ornamental fern. It's so curly. It's just a sword fern, like the rest of them. But look at the difference. It still had spores on the bottom. Interesting. Never seen that before. Oh, I came here because I have found Amanitas here before, but I'm not finding, well, not any Amanitas. Here's a little brown mushroom. Cute little brown mushroom with some gills underneath. But I guess the Amanitas are done in this spot for now. Oh, these little purplish one here. This is so beautiful. Have a look at this. Oops, I almost put my hand in a little brown one. This one, it's like, oh, here's a piece of it. Oh, how beautiful. It's totally purple. Oh, with a little flea or something in it. This is so beautiful. Look at these. I have no idea what they are. Some terribly lovely little plant dangling down off this log. Huh. How elegant. Oh, and a heap of orange mushrooms. Oh, with their tiny elegant little stems and little gills. Everywhere there's something amazing to find. Everywhere. And I'm getting too hot. Our video is getting way too long. And my wonderful videographer told me people are just going to have to find more stuff for themselves because there's no way we can show you everything. But this is so cool. As I said, I have an addiction to showing you all the exciting things. So look at this. Whatever it is. Some little tiny, tiny hair-like mushrooms. Ooh. How can I not show you this? No apologies for the video being so long. Whoa! I thought this was Chicken of the Woods and came running, but they're not whatever they are. Amazing! Also, there's a slug up here having his dinner. My neighbor Denise called me to tell me about some amazing mushrooms she found at her house. So here they are. I've brought you to show you. And indeed, we have a bunch of those little orange ones I had found in the woods, but in far better condition and some adorable little parasols here. And whatever these things are, uh, I have no idea. They almost look like bean sprouts to me and they have no visible caps. Well, actually they kind of maybe do. There's this, as they get older, they seem to get a little brown. And then this one has a tiny, tiny little black speck on the top. Maybe that's a cap. It's some kind of mushroom. I have no idea. Um, I think it is time for me to end this video. And as Tally says, we've only showed you, Tally, my son, my videographer, that is, we have only showed you maybe uh, like some small, tiny fraction of the mushrooms we've seen today. I'm distracted discovering that this one's completely twisted. Super cool. Um, 
and I can't show you everything. So you're going to have to get out and explore yourself and see what you can find in this wonderful autumn. Happy exploring. <laughs>